When we're playing cards, use as currency. According to the Columbia Encyclopedia, playing cards were introduced into Europe in the 14th century. An expense account of King Charles VI of France in 1392 mentioned them. The 52-card deck of four suits was said to have originated in France in the 16th century. Canada was first settled by the French in 1604, and as time went on, she found it necessary to defend her new colonial possession from the British colonists to the south. At first, privately chartered companies attempted to rule this New World settlement, but by 1663 they turned control over to the French royal government and France sent large contingents of soldiers to defend her territory. French soldiers were avid card players. Many carried their own deck of cards with them, playing when possible to break the monotony of military duty. When funds from France failed to arrive on time to pay the troops, means had to be found to issue notes or promises to pay. Since a shortage of good paper also existed, the acting governor, Jacques de Moulaise, requested playing cards and used their reverse sides as notes. The first playing card money was issued by M. de Moulaise on June 1, 1685, after he posted a proclamation announcing their use and making it mandatory for all to accept them in lieu of money, and made them subject to a fine if they should not give full value for them. This type of money substitute by the local colonial government continued until 1721. Again in 1729, it became necessary to use playing card money, and now those issued were by royal sanction, since France found herself unable to pay her own troops. Their use continued until the English won possession of Canada in 1763. Few examples of this unique money substitute exist today.